I love to look at nature to tell us, to give us <laughs> indications of how to be. And when I go out and it's morning, but it's cloudy and the daisies, the dandelions, all those kind of flowers that respond to the sun have got their petals all folded up and closed in rest. Take that as a sign that it's okay to rest when the clouds are kind of coming for you. So for me, over the last kind of week or so, I've been really ill <laughs> with a cold of some sort. Um, I don't go for this whole, oh, it's just a cold. I think that's a phrase that we've been conditioned with because, you know, the man, the authority, they don't want you to be ill. But unfortunately, the cold is probably the most common thing that you're going to catch. And it mutates constantly so your immune system doesn't get a chance to actually build defenses and you tend to get ill from a cold at a point where you need to slow down you need to draw your petals in and just rest and sink into your roots because those flowers they would ordinarily be getting their not inspiration <laughs> they would ordinarily be getting their nutrients um at this time of year from the sun wouldn't they um they'd be drawing in the sun rays they'd be turning that into glucose which turns that into food all the you know sciencey biology stuff going on um but when they've got their flowers closed like that because you know that light information is just not there is it um they're going deeper into their roots they're going into their other place of sustenance their other place that produces what they need in order to them for them to survive now you might be like annie why are you talking about that in fact i should say hello <laughs> welcome back to another episode of the glimmer side chats with me annie eclectic um which is brought to you by the Glimmer Seekers. Thank you guys so much for being part of my world and in the membership and just generally the most amazing, incredible, supportive people that I could ask for. Um, so these flowers are going into their roots and they are going, they are digging deep down to pull nutrients up. And as you, I know you know, if you've been listening, I have been so focused on the root area and building your roots. And I think it's so, so important. I've recently started a project called Be More Dandelion and it is gonna grow into something quite big and incredible. I'm not gonna say, I hope it will. I know it will, it's gonna happen. <laughs> I need to put it out there that it's gonna happen. Oh, look at that new growth, it's beautiful. But it's so important to make sure that you have that stable root so that when the sun is not shining, when you're ill, when you when something's happened that means that you can't do business as usual, you are still stable. You still have something to fall back on. Um, and I mean for your health, I don't mean for your business. If in terms of your business, when these times happen, when you're being forced to rest. I have been practicing a lot of um, mindfulness noticing. Um, so this is just taking a minute to notice what your intuition is doing. What, and for me, it's been really noticing which parts of my business and my passion have been calling out to me. In fact, which are the parts that I have <laughs> still been doing the best that I can whilst I've been, you know, unable to speak, unable to breathe properly, um, looking after a toddler who is also ill, but when toddlers are ill, they don't rest, do they? 
they just keep going and then they go bleh. <laughs> so actually getting time to rest properly has been quite difficult. Um, and in a way I'm quite grateful because it keeps, it keeps me moving. It's kept my body moving. It's kept uh, my blood pumping. Um, and that actually can be very, very good for you when you're not well. But it's also kept my mind going. And there have been certain things in my business that have stood out to me that I've gone, yeah, these, these are the bits that I'm so, so passionate about. Um, and it's also highlighted areas that I already knew had limitations. So I have um, a healing session that was meant to happen yesterday. And a client was so very, very gracious, so very kind. And she was like, I'm just messaging to check up on you. Um, don't worry about the session. We can rearrange these things happen in the time that they're meant to happen. And in a world that is so um, fast paced and so like gratuitous where things like we're, we've been conditioned to assume that things should be instant. And part of the work that I do really is to try and get people to slow down a bit, pull back, enjoy the things that take time, enjoy the things that take a bit longer. Not everything has to be instant and with energy work, my goodness. I have a piece of um, cosmic armor that is a bespoke piece. It's a very intense piece that was ordered before Christmas and it's still hanging out, um, brewing. <laughs> the work is still brewing in a piece of Hawthorne and I'm still working with that person. And until I get like, the nod or the tap from the crystal to say, okay, now is the time for us to be put together. I, I just have to trust the process. And amazingly, and people do amaze me every single time where they understand. And it's because it's part of their work as well. And they know that they're not ready for that step yet, that there's still stuff that needs to be done. So next time your petals have been drawn in, take a bit of time and notice. Notice the parts of what you do. Notice the things that you're passionate about that just won't leave you alone. Just won't go away and let you be and let you rest. Um, that ignite you that make you feel like that, whoa, <laughs> that, that real passion. That's what it's all about. It's about passion. It's about doing the thing that lights you up, that makes you shine and makes you just want to keep going. And it makes, it drives you to not want to be unwell or it drives you to find the opportunities and the limitations that you have in order to adapt, to be able to do the thing that you're doing. There's so many, we all do things that so many other people do. And the thing that makes your version so wonderful and unique is you. And the way that the conditions that you have or the illnesses that we go through or the children that we have to look after, all of these things can either be seen as limitations or they can be seen as limitations with opportunities and limitations with opportunities to adapt. And it's that ab adaptation that you find that works for you and will work for your tribe and your community that is gonna set you aside from everybody else. Anyway, with that note, remember, to find your glimmers, love them, hold them, and save them for later. Have a truly wonderful day, my friend. Bye.